All right, it's view time, baby. What do we got today? Well, something I found at Walmart. Is it new? Uh, yes, it's new, and it also says limited edition. Anyway, this is Cup Noodles Campfire S'mores. Keep it hardcore. Uh, it's a 3.07 ounce little cup here. I believe it's the standard issue of ramen noodles, cup noodles, whatever you want to call these things. Everybody knows the noodle, the noodle. Everybody's had these in whichever form or fashion. You know, some people they've eaten it out of because I'm broke and I, I need a cheap meal. Some people really like the taste of the different ramen noodles, cup noodles, and all those different flavors and brands. Having said all that, I recently did a review about a breakfast one. They actually had one that was called uh, Everything Bagel. I didn't review that one because I don't really like the Everything Bagel flavor. You know, I've had it on some chips and stuff like that. I just don't really care for it. Out of nowhere, boom! Campfire S'mores. Very interesting. Alright, so it says limited edition cup noodles, campfire s'mores with natural and artificial flavors, ramen noodles in sauce. <laughs> okay. Of course, it has your cooking instructions. I don't have to tell you about all that. But I'm going to hop over here Nutrition Facts real quick. These numbers are based off the entire package. 400 calories, 14 grams total fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol. 800 milligrams of sodium, 7 grams protein, 61 grams total carbohydrates, 0 calcium, 2.8 milligrams of iron, 110 milligrams of potassium. Contains bioengineered food ingredients. Contains wheat, soybean, egg, and milk. Manufactured in a facility that also processes peanuts, tree nuts, sesame, crustaceans, shellfish, and fish products. No added MSG. All right, you down with OPP? Well, I'm about to go put this in the microwave, and the water, and all that fun stuff, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I put it in the microwave for three minutes. Uh, I, I think I added a little bit too much water because it started running over, so I had to clean it up. So it got a little messy, and then I let it sit for, I don't know, maybe five minutes just to let it cool off. The smell is very interesting. I get your typical noodle smell. Oh, there was no packet to add, by the way. You just fill it with water and go. And uh, yeah, I saw marshmallows on top and noodles with some brown powder. Very interesting smell. I kind of get chocolate noodles. So I stirred them up, cooled off a little bit. I got a little bit of steam coming off. Either way, I'm dying to try this. Cup noodles, <laughs> s'mores, campfire, backwards saying. Let's do this. All right, all right. Let's stop right there. I'm having two different issues right here. Number one, holy shit, it's hot. I thought I let it sit there long enough. I think I scolded my lip. The other issue is I couldn't see in the mask. I couldn't see all the way down, so I was hitting my chin. So I had to rearrange some things so I was make sure I was make, hit, getting the bite. And then when I got the bite, oh my God, it was hot. I tasted enough to let you know that it tastes like chocolate noodles. I do get s'mores, okay? I get the chocolate and the marshmallow. But I also get the typical ramen noodle. It's very weird. I could eat the rest of this, at least when it cools down. So does it taste like what it says? Hell yeah, what I bought again? Ah, I might not run out and buy this one again. It is very interesting to try once. It's not gross. It's weird. There might be somebody out there that this is your favorite one. But it does say limited edition, so it won't be out that long. It is weird, but I like it, so good job, Raymond Noodles. Come out with some more weird stuff. I'd love to try it. Keep it hardcore.